Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again. Welcome to episode number 91, I believe this is, of the Football Manager stream series here on the Chesnoy Gaming Channel. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to skip forward a few minutes to where the uh, the save is loaded up in the background. That's where we will continue on forwards from. Just going to be spending the opening few moments welcoming people in, etc., as we always do. And uh, we'll be uh, putting the little notification video live, which is currently processing and should be live any moment. Is there any football on tonight? me to watch on the TV above me whilst we stream. I don't believe that there is, to be honest. I should probably sit score centre, that would be a good shout, wouldn't it? That'll tell me. Or you guys in the chat can tell me. Is there any sort of sporting event going on tonight? We've got oh, Millwall versus Burton. Great. Okay. Well, we'll watch Millwall versus Burton then, shall we? Why not? Currently 2-0 to Millwall at half-time. Fair dues. We'll watch Millwall versus Burton then. Um, I was going to do something. I can't remember what it was. Tweet the stream out, I think. My, my brain is on a go slow today. Uh, live now. Watch the cricket. Oh, CBA. CBA with cricket. Uh, right, load Saints. There we go. There we go. Actually, is my overlay correct? Uh, it is not. It is not. Right, we stream overlay. There we go. It says 115, but actually we have 116. So I must have resubscribed whilst uh, I was offline, in between last night and tonight. Save that, save that, save that, and update OBS. Gosh, there we go. Right, we are still in the transfer window. I couldn't remember whether I'd uh, whether we'd gotten out the transfer window or not yet. We have not yet made it out of the transfer window. We're currently 13th in the BPL after two draws. A one all draw with Spuds and a nil-nil draw with Norwich. We've got League One, question mark, Doncaster next. Yes, League One, Doncaster next. They finished 7th in uh, the first season, just outside the playoffs, unfortunately for them. And they've started the season with a defeat and a victory, so hmm. we'll have to wait and see how we get on against them. Probably going to start a reserve-ish side. How many games have we got left before the end of the transfer window? Just this one and the one against Leicester. The Twitch notification didn't work for you. Oh, it's been on the Blitz the past couple of days. Been on the Fritz. The Blitz and the Fritz. Uh, what is, why are you, are you happy with me or not happy with me? What is the... Press thing. React. Oh, re react as well to collective win bonus. Well, now you know who the greedy players are in the squad. Uh, we promised James will prowse something. What did I promise him? Oh, he wants to move to a bigger club. I can't sell you if no one wants to buy you, James. Unfortunately, I've been told I'd accept a bid from Man City, but meh. Uh, oh, and we have to improve the squad harmony. Well, squad harmony's all right at the minute, so. That was with the chairman, wasn't it? Or chair lay chairperson, Katerina Lieber. So so far in the window we have or remaining this window, we have thirty five million pounds. Which I'll probably spend in January. Don't think we need to bring anyone else in. We have so far this window brought in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players, totaling 73.95 million pounds. We've m sold uh, 83 million pounds worth of players, though. So we've actually, despite spending 74 million in the window, we've made 10 million pounds profit, or 9 million pounds profit. Somehow. 
Uh, we brought in Corin Santaliso, Andres Guardado, Marcelo Brozovic, uh, Arkadiusz Milik, Florian Talvan, Martin Caceres, Gilfie Sigerson, and Geronimo, Geronimo Rulli. Uh, we have sold Gaston Ramirez, uh, Florian Gardo, Sergio Mane, Christian Bendeke, uh, Kuka Martina, Juan Mi, Jordi Classy, Stephen Davis, and Cedric. So at present, the squad looks like this. Two goalkeepers. Uh, right backs, we can use Caceres or Tolisso or Santiago Arias. Centre backs, we can use Caceres or Tolisso or Balanta or Fonte or Mamana or Van Dijk. Left backs, we have Bertrand or Balanta uh, or Matthew Target or Guardado, equally for that matter. In the midfield central positions, we can play Guardado, Kranovita, Wanyama, Brozovic, maybe Tadic. James Will Prowse can play there too. Striker-wise, we could play Shane Long, Jay Rodriguez, uh, Gilfie could apparently play at striker too, Charlie Austin or Milik, and then in the wide midfield positions, we have uh, Guardado, Tadic, Shane Long, Jay Rodriguez, James Ward Prowls, Florian Talvan. So I think the squad looks pretty good right now. I hope the squad is pretty good right now. I'm happy with it, but I'm not sure how we'll get on. This season, I need to add instructions to the side though. So we will go play out defense, look for overlap, work ball into box. Uh, I won't put on be more expressive just yet. We will use tighter marking though. Actually, we'll close down more rather than tighter marking. We'll just close them down more. Easy that way, isn't it? Right, uh, we'll play Geronimo Ruli. Actually, no, it's a, it's a cup competition. We'll play Fraser Forster. Um, Arias can play it right back. Uh, we will play Mamana and someone else. Mamana and Fonte, I think. Experienced next to the uh, the youngster. Uh, left back, Matthew Target. In midfield, brr, we could play Corrin Tantaliso in the holding role and then uh, perhaps Kranovita alongside him. Actually, would they be better the other way around? No, not really. Okay, fair enough. Um... Is he better as an, a supportive? No, he's not. Okay. Uh, on the right-hand side of midfield, we will play Shane Long. Uh, Cam. Brrr, Cam. Let's play Brozovic. No. I don't want to play Brozovic at Cam. I'd rather put Brozovic there and have Kranovic on the bench. Let's put, let's put Tadic at Cam and then Guardado on the left. He's better as a winger, supportive winger. Shane Long is better like that, and is more of an advanced playmaker, Tadic. Fair enough. Then up top, I'm going to go with Milik. And this side should be strong enough to be able to uh, to deal with the threats of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Doncaster is the word I'm looking for. Uh, I will put Kranovic on the bench, though. And Jay Rodriguez. And Charlie Austin. So we've got right back, centre back, left back. Centre mid, wide player. Charlie Austin is a striker. Another player that can play in a multitude of positions, preferably. But we don't need to. I don't need to put a defender because we've got Guardado in the side. So let's go James Ward Prowse. If we want a wonder kid for two million, look at Bentakur. We could have a look at Bentakur. We do have quite a few good youth talents already, though. Um, I'll just calmly say, if I, uh, no, go out there, relax, play the natural game, and the result will come. We'll turn sounds on. There we go. Start game. Uh, this will go on YouTube tomorrow morning. OG Stoner. The Football Manager stream footage always goes live on the YouTube channel the very next morning. That's how it works. Oh, we've got, Donka, got Donny fan in the chat. DRFC Luke, Rovers till I die, he says. Hopefully we can um, win, though. Sorry, Luke. Hey, buddy old pal. Renato Sanchez would never, ever even dream of joining me. He's playing first team at um, Benfica. I don't think he quite wants to come to Southampton. 
has the chance of winning titles in Portugal or finishing 13th in the Premier League. Pretty sure he's going to. Pretty sure he's going to stay at uh, at Benfica. We've dominated the half. We haven't yet found a way through. I will say keep playing the way hard. The result will come, and hopefully they'll take that the right way. They have. Oh, well, just don't let this go to extra time. Switch to attacking. And up, oh, the tempo is already quite. Oh no, it's only on normal. Is that because I'm. Yeah, because I'm closing down more. I'll go to a higher tempo and not close down so much. See if we can get ourselves a goal to go in front, which Millie may do here as he's clean through. Millie. Oh. Oh, but. Well, I don't know. The first touch takes him wide. Oh, come on, boys. More leads. Brozovic. To leave. So a lot of new players in this starting lineup today. Arias. Oh, that's a great ball. Never mind. Stockman gets to start down to make the save. Hey, Yellow Pope. Cambridge are not very. Cambridge are brilliant. You don't know what you're talking about, Max. You're an Irish fan, aren't you, Max, I think? Hey, everyone. Right, Du Santadic is quite tired, so let's bring on James Will Prowse at Cam. Malik's not having the best of games. What if I switch him to complete forward? Sprinted out of the shower to get this stream open in time. Careful sprinting or running on a wet surface, you might slip and injure yourself. Well then counter-attack. Or, you know, kick it against the defender. Oh, that's a good ball though. Go on, Andre. There's a cross, and James Ward-Prowse, on off the bench, makes the difference. Scores the goal to give us a 1-0 lead. We will now take Malik off for Charlie Austin, and bring Jay Rodriguez on for Shane Long. Yeah! Took our time getting in front, but we are in front. I, we tried to get... We, we tried looking into Renato Sanchez, said, but it's just not going to happen. Wasn't even remotely interested in joining us. In before they equalise late on and we have to go to extra time. Hey! Hashtag called it. Probably should have taken myself off attacking once we scored, but you know what, no mind. GG Donny, you got yourself an equaliser. Uh, assertively. Keep working hard and we'll get it. I don't want Marcus Rashford, thank you very much. Finish? No, okay. Hashtag called it. Uh, I've got notifications on Xbox and bleh, notifications on Xbox turned off, Cam Talbot. So don't worry, bro. You didn't interrupt my recording session. Now we'll just switch to control and lower the tempo a little bit. Go on, Matty. Oh, that's a great ball. Up goes Jay Rodriguez off the bar. Brilliant. Never mind. Now would be the chance to get the winner, or now would be the time to get the winner. Yes, Jay Rodriguez. Just square it. And Charlie Austin. Oh, good save. Torsten Stuckman. Guardado picks up the loose ball, though. Oh. 
mind. So we're going to go to Pens against Donny. Great. Kick it, Torsten. Come on, son, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Well done. Uh, the plan is to do that. Yes, Liam. Did it for the World Cup, so might as well do it for the Euros. It went down quite well previously, so... Why the hell not? Oh! Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to wait to read that donation in case something happens, but it hasn't. We have a... One pound donation from Rogers. It says, Cheers on my Southampton save. I got to third in the Premier League and in the third season and got the England job as well. He also won the FA Cup. That's decent, man. Congratulations. You also... Oh, can I look at Abubakar? Uh, Abubakar would be out of my price... Well, not out necessarily out of my price range, but he wouldn't want to join me. Can I put Guardado in there? Tony Austin, Jay Rodriguez, Manuel Maman apparently can take pens. There we go. Oh. Uh, Jay Rodriguez in there as well. Penalty shootout <laughs> against Doncaster, the Rovers. We dominated the game. We just couldn't keep them out, unfortunately. That last minute equaliser may be enough. They can now screw us, screw us over in the penalty shootout. They might, think they might get themselves a shock result. <sighs> Could really do with doing quite well in the Cups, though, this year. Because it was only really our European run that kept us in a job last, last season. Oh. In years... Oh, this has got to be first. In years since I've had Robina. Go on, Charlie, bury it, please. Great. Speed up slightly. Oh, that was well put away. What the do? Oh, how's that for a pen? Richard Chaplow, saved by Fraser Forster. Jay Rodriguez. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what? Does Avina want to hit that any harder? Christ. Mamana, saved. No, Mamana. What are you doing, Sunshine? What are you doing? Butler. There is it. We need to score to stay in. It's Jose Fonte. Oh, scores. Sudden death now. Mackenzie saved by Fraser Forster. The man to step up to send us through is new signing Brazovic. Saved by Torsten Stuckman. Oh, my God. Needing to score to keep us in it is Santiago Arias. And he has done. Middleton scores. Wow. James Ward Prowse scores. This is madness. McCulloch, over the bar, Luke McCulloch misses, up steps Corentin Tolisso to send Southampton through to the next round of the Capital One Cup, yeah, uh, I'm just going to say well done lads. We made a, made a meal of it, but we're through. Delafeo on form. Uh, Arias, a little jaded, could do with a rest. It's his first game of the season. Have a word. Swansea rely on penalties against Berry. Oh, I don't feel quite that bad now. If uh, Swansea had to rely on pens over Berry as well. 
backroom advice meeting. Who could tell me to sign? Arbelor or Wanfran, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Decrease stability from Santiago Arias. Okay. Increase potential ability from him and him. Decrease potential for Thomas O'Connor. D. Crawley say no to Michael Ward. Okay, cool. Van Dyke out of the Netherlands. Jamie Vardy replaced. No, James Ward Prowse. Are there any? We did apply for loads of international jobs, didn't we? But we didn't get any of them. And the Romanian one is still available, but we don't want the Romanian job. Jack Stevens had a good game. Sweet. Capital One Cup third round draw. Where was it that the board wanted us to get in this competition this year? Fourth round. Okay, so we need to win this next round. The FA Cup it was quarterfinals, wasn't it? Or fifth round. So to match what the board want from us, we need to win the game that we get drawn in next. Oh, Leicester Man City is a nice tie. It was which Brighton. What would have been an all championship tie is now an all Premier League tie. Bills for Reading. Nottingham Forest away, that's a difficult game. That is a difficult game. They finished 16th last year, but they're currently top. British Samba Longa, back after his injury. Wouldn't have played much last year. And he's now... Although three of them came in the Capital One Cup, fair enough. But still. Jamie Ward is also scoring goals for them. Oh, man. That's a difficult draw. That's a difficult draw. I don't want Arbeloa, though. I don't, know, I don't know why they keep offering me right-backs. They have, like, three. No offers for board call. Sure. Man City, you could draw with Dortmund, Sporting, and Maribor in the Champions League. Buy a Samba longer. No, I don't want to buy a Samba longer. Matthew Target is going to be really good in a few years' time. Josh Sims is going on loan to Huddersfield. I'll get match reports about him because I'm intrigued to see how he gets on. Leicester, transfer windows open, anything can happen really quickly. Do you agree with the suggestion that Virgil van Dijk has to leave? What? No. Bastards. Trying to get Van Dijk out of the club. The Dutch manager... We'll be giving players opportunities to shine, but at the end of the day, we have a required standard, and it was means playing high over. The... Have a word. Virgil Van Dijk is good enough. Yeah, I'll say that. I'm on your side, Virgil. I'm on your side. Yeah, we don't need a we don't need a young centre back. We have Emmanuel Mamana. Is it Emmanuel Mamana? I'm pretty sure it's Emmanuel Mamana, isn't it? Yeah, Emmanuel Mamana. A lot of M's in there. Emmanuel Mamana. Three, in fact, not that many. Suggests that I lack professionalism. Perhaps I should offer an apology. Fuck you. I do not like this guy. Yang Jansen, you sir are a dick. This is 
first man first proper managerial role ever. Throwing around accusations like that. What what a penis. Chelsea get Genk, Dinamo Moscow and AEK in the Europa League group. Well that's an easy group for them to power through. Huddersfield want Will Wood on loan, they can have him. Right then, Leicester. Uh, Mike Caceres, Jose Fonte, Virgil van Dijk, Ryan Bertrand, Victor Wanyama, James Ward Prowse, Florian Talvin, Gilfie Sigurdsson. Talvin's better as an inside forward, apparently. And Dusan Tadic. And up top, Charlie Austin. Simple. Corentin Taliso. Balanta would be on the bench as well, but unfortunately he's injured. Mamana. Guardado. Uh, Brozovic. Shane Long. And Milik. Uh, no, Will Wood is not my brother. Although my granddad was called William Wood. So there's some knowledge that you didn't really need to know, but mind. You saw Spencer at Noble's testimonial match today. Oh, did he have a? Te I didn't. I didn't realise Mark Noble was having a testimonial today. Fair play to West Ham for doing that. Definitely deserves one. Charlie Austin's decent, Jacob. It's pretty good. Was our top goal scorer last year. Admittedly, we didn't score many goals, but he was decent when he did play. Darren0873 just subscribed. Thank you very much, Darren. Drop you the sub hype and the love hearts in the chat. Cheers, bro. If you're on Twitter and you'd like a follow, let me know what your Twitter handle is in the chat, and I will drop you a follow. Hopefully we can go and sneak a lead. I will adjust my overlay. Thank you very much, Darren. Appreciate that. Uh, they'll score from this corner now, won't they? Just my luck. Well, we can catch them on the counter, maybe. Lovely ball. Go on, Gilfie. Oh, West Morgan's done enough. Feet. That's a nice ball. Square it, Tadic. No, he shot. Should have squared it. Damn. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with my Ben. Dean Ashton's overhead kick was sick. Take him to the Euros. Uh, I'm surprised Dean Ashton's knees were able to... Uh... Oh, Charlie Austin's injured. Well, that's not good. Actually, no, let's put, let's put Milik on. Calmly, a lot more to come from you. Hopefully Charlie Ovic, Ch Charlie Ovic, hopefully Charlie Austin isn't injured for long. If he is, then we have like three days to try and find a striking replacement. I didn't see what sort of injury it was actually. It's going to take a while, of course, for the new signings to bed in. That's going to be a goal. It's going to take a while for the new signings to bed in. So we, we can expect some up and down form the first month or so, first month or two of the season. You can just tell, as soon as that ball was whipped in on the edge of the six-yard box, just know a striker's going to get there first. In fact, I think it was it's going to go down as a Jose Fonte own goal. It did go down as a Jose Fonte own goal. Brilliant.
Adrian went on a run from his own box and scored. Really? In the West Ham testimonial, or in the Mark Noble testimonial. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get the result we were after here, unfortunately. Everybody played well enough. Just weren't able to get the goal, the ball into the back of the net, which sucks. Six shots on target. Two further shots blocked. Just goalkeeper had a good game. Seven shots on target. Casper Michael just had a good game, that's all. Victor Wanyama got man the match. So how unlucky, boys, that wasn't our day. Um, what player ratings? Yeah, Casper Michael got a seven. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh well, continue. How long is Charlie Austin going to be out for? Two months with a broken toe. Do we bring someone else in? Do we bring someone else in? Got until the 31st to do so. Or do we put our faith in Milik? Yes, we bring someone else in. Okay. Well, if we are to bring someone else in... Oh, I should probably move on. I mean, I'm tempted to play to try Jay Rodriguez at striker, you know. Because it's pretty decent. <laughs> Vardy, 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 Vardy. Hmm. Jamie Vardy wouldn't join me. Jamie Vardy wouldn't join me. Let's have a look who is on the transfer list. So curiosity striker wise. Emanike. Meh. get the Lord. Look, I'll sh I'm not going to get bent now. I'll show you Vardy. He's valued at £27.5 million and Leicester in the Champions League this year. There is no way that I'd be able to bring Vardy in. £190 million. I think that's that's pretty uh, <laughs> pretty obvious that they don't really want to let Jamie Vardy go. Have a look at Chicharito! Get a scout report on Hernandez. Scored 19 goals in the Bundesliga last year. Had a good year. Just, I'd like. Uh, I think Malik will be good enough. Only 22 though. Lee Griffiths, Zach Clough. Not really sort of quality that I'm after, to be honest. Not to replace a first team striker. Callum Wilson at Bournemouth is someone that I would definitely sign. Let's offer them 17.5. i definitely sign him. Eduardo Vargas is a name that keeps popping up in the chat. He's at Hoffenheim currently. Finishing of 12 is not really what I'm after. And, he's, and he had one solid goal-scoring season at Chile. Or in Chile, at Universidad de Chile. I'm not going to get Barry Bannon. Sorry, fam. Yeah, I presumed as much fat-free butter. We could loan someone. That is an option. Let's 
There's not really anyone worthwhile to loan there. We could get Yaya Sonogo on loan. Clinton and Chie. I don't know. Bob Solanke. Meh. Luis Muriel. Don't know how good he is on FM. He's at Sampdoria now. It's only 25. I thought it was older than that. Wow. Presumably they weren't playing him at striker if he got one goal in 35 games. If they're playing Muriel at striker. And he's getting score. Wow. He's getting. Sandoridge don't score goals apparently. Oh no, it was at Inter. He was on loan at Inter. Ida. We put an offer in for Callum Wilson. We could have a look at it, Hello. How many goals did he get last year? Ten. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. For old Troy. 4-4 four four in the Europa League, but nothing in the BPO, and he only got 10 last year as well. Jordan Rose isn't going to be good enough, to be honest. We don't really need to sign someone, to be honest. I have like Shane Long and Jay Rodriguez and Milik. But if I can get Callum Wilson, then that would be fantastic. How about 10 now? And another 10. Another 8.5. Oi, 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 oi. Van Dyke wants to join Real Madrid. Why do they match the valuation? I can't say no to Real Madrid, can I? I can't be like, no, stay at Southampton, even though Real Madrid are interested in you. He's saying, don't get Callum Wilson, he's not that good. And I'm pretty sure he's scoring loads of goals. Wilson bid rejected. Uh -huh. <whistles> Who've Bournemouth played this year? Norwich, Tottenham, and Liverpool. Did he score three there? He got one against Tottenham. Harry Kane and Gabriel Bosa got a hat trick each. Cam Talbot, 2003, just subscribed. Thank you very much, Cam. They oh, got a hat trick against a hat trick against Norwich. Cheers, Cam. I'll drop you the sub hype in the chat. Cheers, buddy. If you'd like a follow on Twitter, let me know your Twitter handle in the chat. Same with uh, Darren0873. If I missed you writing your... Uh, if I missed you putting your your Twitter handle in the chat, then do put it in there again to ensure that I see it and that I follow you. Save as... I do like Callum Wilson. Though I really don't want to pay an overly large amount of money for him. Says as he offers 21 million total. Ebra. Yeah, sure. I wonder how... I wonder how he got on there, actually. Bear with me. Benicophobe. How did he get on last year? Did he even play? One in seven. You know what, I'm just going to play Shane Long, I think. We're playing Shane Long and Jay Rodriguez, as well as Barry Wont, Willwood on loan, yeah. Sure. Hamilton Wont gave on loan. First team, they'll withdraw. Shock. <laughs> we haven't got a game for two weeks. So Charlie Austin will be back sooner rather than later. Yeah, I think it would just be wasted money. We might as well just hold off. Hold off and wait till January before spending any more money. Or just play other players. 
Either put my faith in Malik or place Shane Long or Jay Rodriguez. If it, if it was out for eight months, then yeah, I'd definitely bring someone else in. But it, considering he's only out for two, we'll probably be back training in six weeks. There's a weird error message on the screen. There is. What does that say? Invalid token. If you reset your API access token, you'll need to update your widget URLs. What? What? That's odd. What on earth? Why are you saying that? Invalid token? I think that's for the invalid token. If you receive your phone, so you need to update your widget URLs. That's to do with Twitch alerts. But they've all been coming through. That's the weird thing. Look, if I edit scene, I bet that moves. Oh, it doesn't move around. I don't. I genuinely do not know what is bringing up that error thing. Office for I and Robin. Oh, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Invalid token. I, don't, I have no idea why, why it's saying that. And I don't want to restart the stream because that would mess up the YouTube video. Um, hmm. It's like at the arcade, I have to put more quarters in my computer. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't want Fritz. Or Hit, sorry. Uh, Tottenham bid for James Ward Prowse. 33 million. Damn. On, oh, I can't accept that on deadline day. Of me 25.5 up front. It's, it's worth in total... This offer worth in total fifty million. But I don't want to sell James Will Prowls. Especially on deadline day. Like I'd I'd never be able to replace him. I'm gonna reject it, say he's indispensable to the club. Oh, so I don't want him to move to a team in the same league. He'll probably be pissed off at that. And because I said I'd sell him to Man City, so uh, yeah, you can have to buy one loan. Bid for Van Dyke from Hoffenheim. No. He'll be pissed off at that as well, but Hoffenheim isn't exactly Real Madrid, is it? Uh, we'll take part in Deadline Day. Wait for James Will Prowls and Virgil Van Dyke to be like, Oh, I hate you! Uh, West Ham so interesting Chelsea player oh, Begovic. How what are they offering for, for Robin? Six million. He's transfer listed. Hold up. It won't happen. But the buyer's gone on loan. Oh, whoop. click the wrong thing. dooley has gone on loan. De Silva. Oh, Robin's going to PSG. See ya. 160 grand a week. Fair play. <whistles> 13 emails. I, I don't know what... I have ab honestly genuinely no idea what that invalid token message is all about. I can only apologise, and it's probably going to be there for the rest of the stream, because if I'm to be able to upload the stream footage onto YouTube, I'm going to need, like, one solid file. Not multiple. It makes no sense. I don't mind widget URL. Let me go into the settings. Oh, 
widget URL is correct? I, I don't know. I will re-enter the widget URL if it wants me to. It's exactly the same. <sighs> any of you have any idea what that could be? I have none. Uh, you're going on loan to Huddersfield, you're going on loan to Braintree. Stoke McBurchin bid? Nope. Come on, it want McCarthy on loan. Key player, yes, that's fine. Uh, yeah, plan is to let him out. Todd Kane is going to Watford. Is that how I, I don't know in what way to pronounce that? Quiddo Squits? Was that Quiddo Squits? Quiddo Smits. Quiddo Smits just subscribed. I apologise if I've butchered that username. But Quiddo Smits has just subscribed. It's, like, it's clearly. The URL thing is clearly not the widget because that like, the, the widget is still working. Like, I don't know what the invalid token thing is all about. Thank you very much for the subscription, Quiddo. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Again, if you'd like a follow on Twitter, let me know your uh, Twitter handle in the chat. If any of you that are subscribed and don't yet have a, a follow from me on Twitter, then let me know what your Twitter handles are in the chat and I will follow you. Pretty sure I follow most of you already, though. Oh, it's the same, is it? Your Twitter is the same. Sweet, I will copy that and then just oh oh god I'm trying to copy it and the chat keeps moving. <laughs> I think oh no. I thought Millwall had scored, they're not, they're just um making a substitution. There you go, bro, I followed you. Thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, Mason, then click on the subscribe button or uh follow the link that I'll put in the chat now. Subscribe. Uh, yep. Well, I think this will want Turnbull on loan. Sure. We get 20% of client profit. Liverpool have sold Nathaniel Klein to Tottenham. We've been given a 20% sell on clause for 1.3 and we'll also receive an extra 1.2 million over the next 12 months. Sweet! How much did they pay for him? £24.5 million. Pounds. God damn. Well, we'll take we'll take the money, but it all helps. Uh, oh. I'm not going to get Callum Wilson now. We're just going to wait. We'll wait till January and see where we are there. How close will we to signing Ian Robin? didn't even get to contract talks and he wouldn't have been interested in joining me anyway. Oh, you did a, a search for me, John. Apparently there's nothing I can do about that error message. It's on Twitch alerts end. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much for uh, letting me know, bro. Was that friendly? It was. Yeah, I can only apologise that about that then if that's on their end. But it's weird because if I take the if I remove it the Twitch Let's thing from um my OBS, like if I remove the source, it's still the message is still there. I don't know. I'll tr I'll try and get it fixed for tomorrow. If you haven't tr oh, if you having trouble with lagging and sh and freezing, Seb, then drop down the uh, the quality in which that you uh, that you're viewing. Ah, Luke Barrett. Yeah, that's fair enough, bro. I'll follow you now. 
Like I say, it's one of the uh, the main sub perks. Uh, subscribing on Twitch is different to subscribing on YouTube, Charlie. Yeah, subscribing on Twitch is like subscribing to Netflix or something like that. It's like a a, a monthly subscription fee, and you get a set a set of perks to, that go along with that, like the little badge next to your name in the chat, and you get access to custom emoticons, and you can play games with me on a Sunday and get entered into the monthly giveaway, etc. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to sell Shane Long. There's only like an hour left in transfer deadline day anyway, I think. Oh, in fact, transfer deadline day is now over. It's finished. Why are you offering to him, me to him at midnight? You are idiot. Oh, it's 6pm, sorry. Uh, Torino making a bid for Arias. Nope. Nope. Uh, if you want to add me on Xbox, Cam, then on Xbox One, I don't need to actually accept your friend request for me to go onto your friends list. X the Xbox One uh, friends list thing works in a similar fashion to Twitter. You add me onto your friends list, and on my end, you appear as a follower for me. But I can go, I go onto your friends list. Ah, the scrolling thing for donators at the bottom of the screen isn't working. Yeah, well spotted, Admiral. I hadn't noticed that yet. That'll be what it is then. But that is what the... Ah, look. Bing. It's gone. And it's back. We fixed it! Yes! Yeah! It's working again. Woo! Go us. Uh, yeah, squad registration. Squad registration is fine as it is. Chelsea spent 62 million this window. Hashtag squad goals. Yeah. Pardon me. Twelve emails again. Matt Miask has gone alone to burst this war. Okay, cool. Our job security is stable. Okay, we've got Brighton next. Brighton next. Ward Prowse happy to stay at Southampton, as is Van Dyke. There's a surprise. Because no one actually wanted to buy you, you're quite happy to stay here. Shock. Didn't see that coming a mile off, long. Uh, boom, boom. Holy Woodrow. New Ugandan star. Oh, he's um, on loan at somewhere. Oh, no, it was last year he was on loan. Congratulations. Well done, bro. He's 21. Doesn't look that good. But fair play, if you're going to be winning international caps, then you've got to be half decent. What time? Yeah, VThunder28 has subscribed. That's technically a resubscription because you have been subscribed previously, but clearly it's been like a period of time in between your last subscription and this one. Thank you very much, VThunder. I appreciate that, bro. That's going to bump us up to 120 overall now, I think. It is. We've had like a, an influx of subscribers tonight. That's very kind of you all to uh, uh, show your support to the channel. We did drop down as low as like 106, I think, or 105. And now we're back up to 120. I think the most I've ever had, most Twitch subscribers we've ever had on the channel was 126. So we're actually getting back up towards the uh, the highest we've ever had before. So thank you very much for resubscribing, V Thunder. I don't know how long it's for, unfortunately, because uh, there was, like I say, there was a gap between the first subscription when it ran out and then the resub. So it counts as a fresh subscription, even though it's not. Mamana does have the potential to be a world-class player, and that is why we brought him in. Nice to see... 
Uh, Balanta back in full training though. That's good news. Oh, I tell you what, that Ribena was delicious. That was so good. I'd have that on tap. Good. Uh, well, there's no point recommending me people now on the 5th of September, is there? Because the transfer window is over. Transfer window is over. Where's the bottle of water? Here. And here. And here. Never without me water. <laughs> never, never, never without me water. Backroom advice meeting. Uh, I, don't, I don't need a right back. I'm going to get a right back next year. If we're still here. I'm going to buy a right back next year. Because of course we sold Cedric. But we're going to use Martin Caceres as right back this year. And then next year, oh wow, Hugo Mai apparently would be absolutely incredible. Next year, when Jose Fonte is not quite as good, we'll sign a new right back and move Caceres to centre back. Tomovic, apparently, Chelsea are interested in Tomovic in real life. Chelsea and Arsenal, I think it was, or Chelsea and Tottenham. Interested in Tomovic. I saw it online earlier on today. I don't know anything about Gino Peruzzi, though, unfortunately. Stats look decent though. Mitchell Beanie. What right, Beanie? Uh, when am I streaming FIFA 16 again? Probably not for a while, bro. I might stream FIFA on a Sunday to play with fans or play with subscribers, but uh, I'm not planning on streaming career mode in, until maybe the summer. I'll probably stream it during the summer. No, I was going to say, is that Silly Kaiko? But it's not. It's spelt differently. It's spelt differently. Oh, for me. Charlie Colkit. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, I'm not going to do what? Best friends with the other party? I don't know him. I can't be best friends with someone I don't know. Equally, I can't like dislike someone I don't know. Yeah, but a bit, but a yeah, bit break. Been good. Training been good. We're confident. Brighton's weakest link. Not going to say. It's unprofessional. Unprofessional. Do 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 do. Callum Wilson scored for Bournemouth. Unfortunately, Leicester scored five, so... Oops. Corley held Cambridge to a draw. Another good performance for Jack Stevens out on loan. Which is good. He's getting better. I think he's genuinely getting better as a player now, Jack Stevens. Uh, right, I'm just going to go to the toilet quickly, I think, before we... Uh, before we play this game against Brighton and then I will be back as is the way of leaving to come back again BRB
Hey, yeah. Right, Brighton. How are they getting on? Uh, one draw, two defeats. They drew against Villa. They lost to Watford and Chelsea. Okay. Opportunity for our oh, opportunity for our first win of the season, if we can put in a decent display. Conte, Van Dyke, Bertrand, Van Yama. Let's play Brozovic in that role now. I'm going to play. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Play Talvan still. I'll have James Will Prowse on the bench. Gilfy. Tadic. In fact, I could play Talvan on the left. Hmm. Talvan on the left? No. We'll leave him on the right. Is he better on? Is he? Whoop. Is he better on the left? No, he's better on the right. And then I'm going to play Shane Long up top. I think for this one. Liso and Balanta, uh, Guardado, James Ward Prowse, Jay Rodriguez, and Milik. Right, Brighton are favourites apparently. Uh, James Ward Prowse just been arrested. Go out there and show the world you've got what it takes. Go and win the bloody football match, basically. What we're saying. That was what I would like you to do. You don't mind in your fancy green football kit. Whoa! I ended up in the back of the net rather sharpish. That was mad. Nice. Don't lose it, Martin. Thank you. Never mind, Martin lost it. Oosh, good save. No, I like I like having a larger squad than a smaller squad. To be honest, try and rise. I'd rather have a, a bigger squad than one that's not quite big enough. Again, we're dominating the game, but not quite getting the ball into the back of the net. I'm sure it won't be long before we do, he says, hopefully. Square it, Florian. Oh. Nice. Jesus, everyone's just like passing it to Caceres every time. Gilfi finish! 1 0. Nice finish from Gilfi there, turning and getting it into the bottom corner. It's about time we took the lead, thank you very much. Uh, expectations of the board this season are to get a mid-table finish in the in the Barclays Premier League just the mid-table finish is all they want from us oh go on Shane oh Shane Long finish sunshine say finish again please what I just did yes Shane lovely ball through from Talvan and he's buried in the bottom corner No need to apologise, ridiculous goal maker. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy the film. I definitely did. Fin wish, yes, Harry, you are right. That was a fin wish. 
Uh, I'm going to say very pleased. Go on, lads. Have I ever thought of being a commentator? I already kind of am a commentator, just in a different genre. I'd love to try my hand at, you know, mainstream commentary. Uh, the West Ham career mode is finished now, cheeky squirrel. Sorry, bro. Been back at Chelsea for like two weeks. <laughs> Might take one Yama off in a minute. Don't want him getting sent. Telvan, can he get another assist? Oh, nearly. Nice. Oh, that was not the very nice of the balls. Oh, no, this is the fourth game of the BPL season? Yeah, fourth. Oh, well played. We played... Tottenham on the opening day and drew 1-1. We played Norwich and drew 0-0. We played Leicester and lost 1-0. And we're currently, as you can see, 2-1 now up against uh, Brighton. But I am going to make a change. We take one, one armor off for James Ward-Prowse. And Brozovic can actually play in that ball-winning midfielder role. So I'm going to swap them two around. Yes. Yeah. Gilfie's having the game of his life. And Dusan Tadic is not doing amazingly on the left, so I'm going to put James Rodriguez on as well. Uh, I don't know what I'll do after the third season at Chelsea. I may do a fourth season, depending on what we win. Shane. Send Telvan through if you like. I'll give it to Caceres. That's surely two goals for Gilfie. 3 1. We'll take the win. Sure is valued at 30 millis? I think so, yeah. Oh, do you mean on the game or in real life? Probably both, actually. Luke Shaw is very highly rated on FM. Where is he? Where are you? There he is, Luke Shaw. He's valued at 25 on FM. He had a phenomenal season last year, though. An average rating of 8.01 over 34 games. He's just ridiculous. Seven man in the match performances for a left back is unbelievable. We'll take that win, though, against Brighton. Thank you very much. Uh, must be delighted to finally end in an extended run. Yeah. I didn't realise we'd gone that long without winning, but we did have a pretty poor end to the season last year, didn't we, as we focused on the Europa League. Who have we got next? Swansea. Swansea just lost 4-0 to Chelsea as well. Wow, Chelsea signed Alan Nyom. I do rate Nyom, actually, as a player. I do like him. He got an 8.7 on his debut. Bloody hell. That's a pretty good opening performance. Well done, sir. Concentrating so hard on work, he didn't even notice the stream was on mute. <laughs> GG. 
Uh, the board are delighted to inform you. Following the promise you made to them, they are now satisfied that you've done your utmost to keep it. The board feel it to be important to maintain a harmonious squad and are pleased to see your efforts to resolve the issues within your squad. As a result of the improvements you've been made, as man, you have be you have made as manager. What? As a result of the improvements you have made as manager. Yeah, sorry, I read that. I was. In my head, I was putting in a comment that wasn't there. As a, re as a result of the, the improvements you've made as manager, the board have cancelled any plans to relieve you of your role at the club. Going forward, the board hope you will give them no reason to regret this decision. My brain confused me. I confused myself there for some reason. I'll show you the league table, yeah, I can show you the league table. Dom Slanky's gone on loan to... That's the league table after four games. We're 11th. Chelsea top of the league, the only side with a 100% record. There are one, two, three, four, five teams that remain unbeaten. Six teams that remain unbeaten. Villa haven't lost yet. Lost yet. They're about to play Crystal Palace, though. Presumably, because considering they're the only two that are left on uh, three games, and it might be on Monday night football, and it is. Oh, jeeps. Yep. Villa don't have their unbeaten record anymore. Palace just destroyed them, five nil. God damn. Uh, the only reason that the side is not quite as fluent with the tactics anymore, yikes, is because there are new players in the side. When you add new players in, even if you don't change the tactics, it lowers the uh, the familiarity with the, with these uh, with the tactic. So they will become more they will become more familiar with it. It's just because there are, I've been starting new people. Jesus, I've just seen Taylor's, uh, I've just seen your DM on Twitter, Taylor, that's mad. If that's Nathaniel Klein, that's incredible. Cambridge beat Morecambe 3-2, go on the boys. Where are they in League 2 right now? Uh, oh, I was looking too high, 18th, great. Come on, Cambridge, you're better than that. Sam Gallagher hasn't scored for Bolton against Hull. Has he scored yet this season? He scored once in the Capital One Cup and once in the Championship. Come on, mate. Why don't you do better than that? Lovegrove, yeah, sure. We have so many youngsters out on loan, it's not even funny. Right, if I look at my under-21s, look at that, they're all out on loan. Handful of the under-18s as well. How much, uh, football manager's about thirty pounds right now, on um, I think it's thirty five pounds on Steam. But they do tend to do uh, sales at the weekends, or every other weekend. There's like a Steam sale. So if you if you wait patiently, then at some point in the not too distant future, football manager will be on uh, a half price sale. I check to see whether it is right now. It's not right now, but three times I think in the past few weeks football manager has been on sale at half price over the weekend or over a weekend no worries cam see you tomorrow bro thank you very much for subscribing it only the game only came out in november so it's fairly new ish like fifa fifa's probably um the same sort of price. Brand new. Uh, they don't have the Premier League badges because of licensing, Will. They don't have the rights. But you can just get user-made patches that you can download and it adds in the badges for you.
No, I think the iOS version is around about £5, Fletcher. But the full PC version is uh, it's full price. Yeah, I do get bored of FIFA quicker than FM. Like Football Manager, I could quite happily sit and play for like 15 hours in a row and not worry about it, not think twice. Whereas FIFA, not so much. And I, sh I need to start playing Alvarez Belanta, to be honest. I might start him here, away from home against Swansea. Uh, Brzovic had a good game so I might as well keep playing and there's no reason to not Talman also had a good game as did Gilfi we're probably just going to start with the same lineup. to be honest I might start Guardado on the left and still going to put Shane Long up top Taliso Fonte we will put um, no because we've got Guardado up there so we could always drop Guardado to left back couldn't we put Cranavita and James Will Prowls on the bench. Jay Rodriguez and Dusan Tadic. I will start bedding Malik into the squad, but I'd rather play him I'd rather bed him in slowly. He's only twenty two, so there is plenty of time for Malik to uh, become the player that we want him to. I'd rather just play him in cup games for now. Just so he can ease his way into the uh, into the squad. Ah, is Football Manager part of the Humble Bundle? I wasn't aware of that. Ah, oh, we've got one nil down. Great. Yeah, it's 66. If you buy the Sega Strategy Bundle for £7 on the Humble Bundle website, you get a 66% off coupon code for FM2016. That's pretty cool. What isn't pretty cool is the fact that we've gone one nil down away at Swansea. Uh, I don't play Counter-Strike, no. I don't doubt that Millie was incredible for you at Ajax, Zach. What did that say about Gilfie? Oh, he's looking tired. Hmm, keep an eye on that. I, I might take, might bring James with Prowls on sooner rather than later. That doesn't improve. Uh, any League 2 side would be decent, to be honest, Lewis, for that sort of series, or that sort of save. Football Manager is PC, yes, Fortunado. It's primarily a PC game. Uh, no, it's not, effort, it's not PC or Mac only, Mr. Willie. You can get it on iOS, but it's not the full version. It's kind of like a streamlined version you get on iOS because obviously it hasn't got the processing. An iOS device hasn't got a processing power of a PC. Go on, Martin. Get a good cross in. We oh, has done. And Telvan to save Flappy Hansky. Uh, I've not been Chelsea and FM for a few years, no. I would do an FM marathon, yeah, but it's it's finding the time. To be honest, I I don't have time to do like to stream a marathon because I need to obviously make YouTube content as well. How good is my PC? Uh, they're going to score here, aren't they? Oh, what a save by Ruli. Um, I'm trying to remember my PC specs now. Have a six core i7 H no six core i7 5930K. Six, yeah, six core i7 5930K. Um, the motherboard is an Asus V Rampage Extreme. Uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, which is the newer RAM, not the older version. 
and a GTX 980 uh, graphics card. It's water cooled and uh, one gigabyte, no, two terabyte, um, two terabyte hard drive with a 256 gig SSD for operating software and a few programs. And take Gilfie off for James Ward Prowse. How much did it cost? Uh, it was built for me, so including build cost, it cost two and a half thousand pounds. About, yeah, about two thousand four. About two thousand four. I bought it just over a year ago now. Shane Long pounces on the mistake from the defence. Yeah, about £2,400, I think, for the PC. But obviously it's work. Like, it's, it was a work investment. It's not like I want... It's not like I wanted a... Um, just a fancy PC for the sake, but... I saved for, like, six months and bought myself a decent PC for work. Uh, yeah, I got it from PC Specialist, Miss Chloe. Uh, yeah, around about... Around about three point two, three point three thousand dollars. Oh, it definitely isn't throwing two grand away, Barclay Boy. It was it was the best investment I've ever made. Having the piece, having a, a powerful PC like this, has meant that I've been able to do the streaming uh, on a like day to day, and the quality of my videos is far far higher. Audio quality and mic, audio and mic, audio quality, visual quality, the speed at which stuff renders is by far the best purchase I've ever made. More than the car, the uh, oh, say unlucky. The PC is definitely the best purchase I've made. My YouTube channel wouldn't be where it is today without the PC, basically. Oh yeah, no, it's it's definitely already been paid off. It was it it was earned back in like six months. What would I have done for a job if I didn't have the ME? I was working at a telecommunications firm. The same firm that my dad worked at, works at, but in a different department. And the plan always was, when my dad got the promotion to head of his department, I would switch from my department to his department and work underneath my dad. Uh, and that would have transpired. My dad got the promotion to head of his department like five years ago. And I would have moved across and been working for my dad, basically. But I'm a YouTuber instead. <laughs> I would never have been a YouTuber if it weren't for the ME. I wouldn't have the circle of friends I have now if it weren't for the ME. Basically, everything in my life right now that makes me happy, I only have because of my ME. Which is particularly strange to come to terms with. Or it was particularly strange to come to terms with. Do I want to swap jobs with you? No, you're all right. You do a, a damned good job, Sarah. Complex and above, above my level of intellect, or without any training at least. Would I give it all up for a life without ME? It's a very, very difficult question. If you'd asked me that question three years ago, hands down, I would have bitten your hand off and said yes. Are 
I don't know. I don't know these days. I put it this way, my health is the worst it's ever been, but I am the happiest in life I've ever been. So it's a, it's a str it really is a strange one. Oh, we've got Forest Away in the Capital One Cup next. Uh, I just put the link in the chat to my um, videos about my health. I'll do it again for you if you missed it. I did a couple of videos on my health over a year ago now. I need to do an update video, really. Right. In the cut, we'll play Fraser Forster. Oh, me. Fontaine, the mana, target. Kranavita, James Will Proud. Uh, actually, no, let's play James Will Proud on the right. Uh, Dusan Tadic at Cam. And Jay Rodriguez on the left. Where are you, Jay? Where are you, Jay? There you are. Uh, and then. Taliso? Are they better the other way around? Yeah, they are. And then let's play Malik up top. Your oldest niece has chronic fatigue. Al Alapasia? I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologise, Steve, and a heart problem. That sucks, man. You'll have to give him my best wishes. Casero is on the bench and Balanta. That covers both positions. Well, Bertrand can go there too. No. Yeah, Bertrand can go there too. I'll uh, put Guardado on the bench. Guardado is probably pretty decent at centre mid as well, to be fair. In that deep line playmaker role. I'll uh, put Shane Long on the bench. And. Tauban. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Assertively, with the favourites here, go give the fans something to cheer for. I love a, I love a good deep conversation, Sarah. I do like a good conversation. We got a penalty. We got a penalty. Kisane underscore 15 just subscribed. Thank you very much. <laughs> if it helps, I had a cold yesterday. Everyone has their own problems, man. Dusan Tadic misses the penalty. James Will Prowls misses the follow up. Brilliant. Never mind. We had the chance to go 1 0 up. And we fluffed it. If you'd like a follow on Twitter, Kisane, then let me know your Twitter handle in the chat and I will drop you a follow. Thank you for subscribing, though. That's like five new subscribers tonight, I think. Which is brilliant. Thank you for the support. Malik. Oh, hits the base of the post. Very close. Christ, Jamie Ward, do you mind? How good a finish was that? You don't, but it's fine. Okay, no worries. Thank you very much for the uh, subscription, though. I appreciate that. The follow on Twitter is kind of the main perk that people subscribe for, I think. That and the giveaway and the following. Um, the giveaway, the following on Twitter, and the subscriber Sunday. Now I've started doing that on a frequent basis. I'm looking forward to getting pictures of your car tomorrow, Sarah, definitely. Oh, deflected. Shot deflected from Chris Cohen. Your one-year resub is on the 19th. 
of April. Will that be 12 months? I don't think that it, don't think that quite counts. Well, I guess technically it does because it takes you like I got partnered in at the beginning of May, but by by being subscribed up until April this year, that will be 12 months and then it will take you up to the year. So your actual year anniversary will be 13 months subscribed. Technically, like you're going into the when it says subscribe for 12 months, it'll be going into the 12th month. If you know what I mean, like the year anniversary will be like the 19th of May, but it will say 12 months on the 19th of April. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to play a little bit better. We did just get a donation. I will quickly check that. It's a pound donation from Mr. Willie 94 says, I'm watching your stream with my bunny. She's eating a carrot. They do love a cheeky carrot. They do love a cheeky carrot. We gave some carrots to my sister's hamster earlier as well. And some broccoli. You'll have to get your bunny some broccoli too. Thank you very much for the donation though. You signed Malik and he failed to score in 25 games. Oh, jeeps. That's not good. Let's put Guardado on. Malik's not having the best of games either. We'll throw Shane Long on up top. Again, though, we've dominated the game possession and chance-wise. We did this a lot in the other save, didn't we? Uh, a couple of teams. Dominate games. We just can't quite seem to put the ball into the back of the net on a regular basis. What car is that, that I have? It's an SL, a Mercedes SLK 250. I'll type it in the chat so you can copy it if you wanted to. Mercedes SLK 250 is the car that I have. By the whole Tottenham team. Um, not too sure I want to buy the whole Tottenham team. I, If I wanted to do that, I'd probably just start a new save as Tottenham. Yeah, maybe I should have brought in Barry Bannon. Maybe that would have been the best thing to do. You drove in an SLK today, did you, Admiral? What did you make of it? Like, how old was it as well? Like, what model was it? Oh, what a save. When keep when the keeper's making saves like that, then there's not much you can do. Because Engelawalo is on one hell of a run here. He is so quick. What, um, yeah, how old was the SLK you drove in today, Admiral? Because there have been three different models of it. Mine's the latest model, but it's one of the first... Like, one of the first from the latest model. Only has a two-star review on the first site you see. Uh, it definitely gets more than a two-star review from me, I'll tell you that much. Uh, 15 shots. Five on target, 63% possession. Frustrating to go out in that fashion. If we'd have scored a penalty, that game probably would have been completely different. Yeah, the board won't be keen on that. Oh, look, it's gone from here to there. Board are disappointed that the team only reached the third round. Meh. I'm also disappointed that I uh, only reached the third round. However, Forest are in one hell of a run of form right now. Uh, I'm not going to scout Brazil or Portugal, sure. No. Player contract. Three years, nine months. Nope, he's not getting another contract. Off a gate, off a Hesketh, and then the rest don't carry on. Uh, but yeah, Forrester, top of the division, and they are in one hell of a run of form. They've won every single game they've played this year, apart from one game at home against QPR. They are flying high right now. 
have no idea how old it was. You just drove in it because you could at a car display show. Decent. Oh, no, I'm not keen on Porsches, Sarah. The only the only reason I got the SLK is because it was a hard top convertible. If it had been a soft top convertible, then I wouldn't have bought it. I'd have just gotten a coupe. I, I'm not keen on soft top convertibles. But because the SLK had a hard top convertible, that was why I went with that one. Otherwise, I'd probably have, I'd probably have bought a TT or something like that. Although that, a TT is pretty mainstream, isn't it? Everyone buys TTs. Everyone buys Audis. I like the fact that the SLK is a little bit more exclusive. Like you don't see that as many of them on the road. You see a lot of TTs, and you see a lot of um, boxers. You don't see many SLKs. Paying 30k for the roof? No, not at all. I didn't pay 30,000 pounds. Jeeps. The SLK cost me 15, not 30. Christ. I can't afford to spend 30,000 pounds on a car. Not right now. I saved for 18 months to buy that car. Uh, you don't see no. You don't see many muscle. You don't see many muscle cars in the UK though. In Europe isn't really a muscle car type place. And if if people wanted the like power of a Mustang, they just buy like a five series. They just buy like a a five series BMW or something like that, or a Audi Saloon. In the European cars, we have like the same power as a Mustang or a Corvette, but it's more refined. So, like, in a Mustang, you get, like, a radio and you might get a few extras. Whereas if you spent the same sort of money on or looked for the same sort of power stats on a BMW or an Audi or a Mercedes saloon, you'd have so much more stuff. If you know what I mean. Have I ever seen Green Street? I have seen Green Street. Like ten years ago, but Golf GTIs make up over ten percent of the cars on the road where you live. They're popular. Golf GTIs are popular cars. Just golfs in general are popular cars. But yeah, that um, the SLK wasn't anywhere near thirty grand. It cost me fifteen. Which what is that in dollars for you? Uh. Uh, it was twenty one and a half, basically twenty one and a half thousand dollars. But I say, like, like I say, I saved for like eighteen months for that car. Saved for so long. Uh, I'm not planning on buying the Hitman, no. You have a Fiesta, but you're getting a 520D in May. That would be decent, man. Pop The um, BMW saloons are so popular, it's, not, it's ridiculous. Where are you, James Will Prowse? There you are. And Jay Rodriguez. And Malik. Like five, five twenty D is like the go to, or three twenty D are like the go to BMWs, or a three one eight maybe. Have I hit top speed in the Merc yet? Um, <laughs> no. It has a top speed of one hundred and fifty one. Haven't gone that fast in it. Probably won't ever go that fast in it. Not on English roads. I'd take it to the autobahn and do one hundred and fifty one on the autobahn, but English. Our roads are a lot smaller than yours, and a lot more narrow. There isn't really any place in the UK where you could like safely do 150. Ooh, what a save!
I can't buy a Tottenham player, bro. We're out of the transfer window. I bought a former Tottenham player in Gilfie Sigurdsson. Does that count? Uh, I've not ever been to Ireland, no. I'd love to go, but I've not ever been. I've got a couple of friends in Ireland, but I haven't been over yet. I'm sure I will do at some point. I'd love to go to Ireland. This is such good football, and it still hasn't ended in a goal. I don't know what the score will be between the English and the Dutch. I'd like to think we'd get a decent um, we'd get a decent result. The car would just shake at 150. No, they're built to go that speed. If, if it's like a sports car, like an SLK or a muscle car like the Mustang or just a family saloon like the 5 Series, they're built to do that speed. Like they, It won't just shake. It's built to be able to do those speeds comfortably. That's a lovely three ball. Gilfie! Gilvy Sigurdsson is turning out to be one hell of a purchase. Uh, I did watch the Germany game yesterday, yeah. Was it yesterday? No, it was Saturday. What day are we? Monday. Yeah, Saturday. I'm getting all confused with the long weekend. We watched it on stream. I had it on above me. Go on, Shane. Never mind. Go on, Gilfie. Go on, Shane. Two. Uh, two? Yes, two. Dusan Tadic. We've got the U of Dusan and the T of Tadic. Dusan Tadic makes it 2 0 Southampton. Yeah, Talvan and Sigurdsson are both playing really, really good football right now. And that's a great finish from Dusan Tadic as well. Oh, yeah, Jamie Vardy's goal was incredible. Eric Dyer's header wasn't that bad either. Neither was Tony. To be fair, Tony Cruz's shot was very, very good. I still think Jack Butland would have saved it if he hadn't done his ankle, but the way Tony Cruz hit that on his left foot was ridiculous. In before equaliser, before half time. Not equaliser, but one back. There you go. You can just tell sometimes, you just know it's going to happen. Uh, this will be the last game we play, Kieran. Right on the stroke of half time. I'm going to say concentrate. Uh, you'll have to watch next, week, next week's Foot Draft Friday to be able to find out how much uh, I made back from the packs we got, Kirshen. Butland's out for three months I think I think it's three months if you teach me the PC side of your job would I want to swap probably not to be honest sorry this is for me as a human being to match my personality this is probably the best job I could do Might go a little bit more direct now, brought my league on. You get to build cool shit and watch it come to life. I'm not denying that your job is pretty awesome. I'm just saying I prefer mine.
Am I going to do some kind of Scottish Foot Friday squad builder with Barry Bannon? Who knows, man? Who knows? If Barry Bannon pops up, I'll have to select him, won't I? Depending on who else is available. Here we go, a 2-1 win at home against Middlesbrough. Could have finished it off better, but we'll take that. We'll take that. That's another win. Moves us up into the top half. Like, like we say, the board only want a... Um, uh, yeah. Chelsea, we've had to pay Chelsea £200,000. Gilfie again on form. Gilfie's been spectac oh, spectacular for us so far. Three goals in six games in the Premier League. Two man in the matches. That's why we bought him. Have I done my set pieces? James Wood Prowse on corners. Put Gilfie on corners as well. Gilfie, Gilfie, James Wood Prowse, James Wood Prowse. Penalties, Charlie Austin, Guardado, Milik. Do I need... Oh. Nice of him to respond and be like, yeah, no thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to bring us to a close for tonight, guys. Let me save this stream. Uh, let's send you on a trip to someone else. Uh, you're Greek, you're Greek, you're French, you're Russian. Okay, well, let's send you at least to uh, an English-speaking stream. Uh, let's send you here, shall we? Send you over to this guy. We'll give you give him a cheeky Chesnoy gaming raid and say hello from me. But that's going to be all from me for now. I'll be back again tomorrow night, though, so don't worry. Don't panic. We'll be back tomorrow for more. But head on over and uh, give Blade Nade a uh, Chesnoy gaming raid from me. Say hello. Be nice. Be kind. And uh, I will actually let me give say a quick thank you because we had plenty of new subscriptions tonight. Uh, we had donation from Rogers and Mr. Willie. Thank you very much for that. And we had five brand new subscribers tonight. Darren, Cam Talbot, uh, Critter Smiths, V Thunder and Kissane. Thank you very much to all of you for uh, subscribing tonight. It's very much appreciated. Thank you to everyone else that was here. But for now, I will see you next time.